Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit and another episode of What Are We Eating? Beef pot pies are hearty and delicious, and of course homemade is best, but even the frozen ones are good if you heat them in the oven. They're even okay if you heat them in the nuclear oven. I'll have another video on frozen pot pies coming soon. But the people at Frey Bento's over in the UK have taken pot pies to a whole new level and put them in cans. That's right, a pot pie in a can. Who'd have thunk it? So I got the closest thing to a beef pot pie from them I could, a steak and kidney pie. You heard me right, the people in the UK love their organs, don't they? First the haggis, then this. But hey, I don't blame them, the haggis rocked. So yes, this pot pie is in a can, so I'm as intrigued as you are. So this is a 15 ounce pot pie and it costs $1.99 in British pounds and that converts to about $2.46 if I did my math right. Seems like a fair price to me, but what do I know about the market price of kidneys? They describe it as succulent pieces of steak and kidney covered in delicious beef gravy and topped in their signature puff pastry. By the picture, it looks really good, but I've been catfished before, so I ain't falling for it again until I'm in it. Just because the statement's on the can, I already know. Someone baked the unopened can, it blew up in the oven, and now they're forced to write the obvious for the Darwin Award winners with no common sense. Now onto the ingredients, and I didn't see any type of soy protein fillers. Yay! However, I did go back and look through all the other beef pot pies here in the States, and all the ones I did find had some sort of soy protein in them. Just saying. Also, for those of you who are particular about your kidneys, these are pork kidneys. Here's the numbers for the whole pie. 564 calories, 19 grams of total fat, 3 grams of saturated fat, 71 carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, that's making me grumpy, 2 grams of sugar, 26 grams of protein, I feel stronger already, and 1,570 milligrams of sodium. and it even has a pretty long shelf life. Now let's follow the instructions and get this thing in the oven. It says to preheat the oven to 450 degrees, open the can of course. Okay, after I got the can open, that definitely is not what I was expecting, but I've never seen a pot pie in a can, so I didn't know what to expect. It looks kind of greasy, but I guess that's from the margarine. So it went into a 450 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, voila. That turned out freaking beautiful, didn't it? It reminds me of one of those Jiffy Pop popcorn things you shook on top of the stove and pop popcorn. The smell, on the other hand, was a different story. I was aromatically being introduced to the smell of kidneys and I was not thoroughly enjoying it. So it was time to dig in and this crust was unbelievably crispy. Listen to it. Nice, huh? When I broke the crust, I broke the seal, and all that wonderful kidney smell was wafting through the air. Definitely not a very pleasant smell. The crust was unlike any crust on any store-bought pot pie I've ever had. It was very light, flaky, and delicious. How did they do this in a can? Pretty amazing if you ask me. When I pulled the crust back to get to the inside, it appeared that only half of the crust cooked. As I moved the crust away, that smell, woofa. If it wasn't for you, the people, I think I would stop at this point. But I must proceed for the sake of humanity. So I dove in and got a piece of meat, and I didn't really know what it was, but when I tasted it, I knew it wasn't steak, so it had to be kidney. And to be honest, it was very good. And I've got to say, it was the best kidney I've ever had. Wait, it's the only kidney I've ever had. I finally got tired of digging around the uncooked dough and scooped it all out and set it aside. After I removed the uncooked dough, I proceeded to eat the little bits of steak. And when I say bits, I mean very small pieces of delicious and tender, but very small pieces of steak. The kidneys, on the other hand, were a little bit bigger. And they were also delicious and tender. But I really wanted more meat and gravy. But there was so little of it, it was very disappointing. This beef and kidney pie was really delicious. But it's more of a tease than it is a meal. 
The puff pastry that did cook was amazing, and the meat and gravy were also quite good. On a scale of 1 to 10, this is going to get a solid 7. Had the crust cooked all the way through, that would have given it another point. And had it had more meat, that would have been another point. Thank you all very much for watching. This is definitely worth giving a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.